Windows UAC will ask you for permission, click on yes, the TFTP server is now installed. I will delete the installer. I use a console cable to connect to the switch. Start the device manager to see on which communications port you are connected to. Double click the kitty.exe to start it. If you connect a serial cable for the first time, Windows will take a moment to install the correct driver. Until the communications board shows up, it may take a long time. To speed things up, you can click on Update Drivers and choose to automatically search for drivers. If you connect it to the internet, it has already downloaded the best driver and will say that the drivers are installed. Now it also shows up in the communications board category. As you can see, the serial cable is connected to COM3. In Kitty, I'll choose Serial and type COM3. Put your COM port in there. For the initial configuration of the switch, I will assign the IP address 10.10.10.10 with a slash 24 subnet mask to VLAN 1 and put the VLAN on interface 1 of the switch. I save the configuration and verify the currently installed firmware version. You can see the VC160004 is currently installed at both image locations. I'll open the network configuration options in Windows, press the Windows key and R together and the run window will appear at the bottom left side. Type in ncpa.cpl and hit enter. Find the interface with which you want to connect to the switch. I disconnect my computer from the internet and to the interface 1 of the switch, which I just configured. You can see Windows trying to identify the network. Go ahead and assign your PC another IP address in the same subnet. Right click and choose properties, highlight IPv4 and click on properties, click on use the following IP address, I choose 10.10.10.11 and 255, 255.255, 255.0 as the subnet mask. Close the dialog and check if the configuration is applied with the ipconfig command. I'll open up the command prompt and quickly check. As you can see, it works. In order for the switch to communicate with the TFTP server, deactivate your firewall. Search for a Windows firewall and click on Advanced Settings. Confirm with Yes and click on Windows Defender Wall Firewall Properties. Change the firewall state to Off. Choose the private profile and do the same as well as for the public profile. Click on apply. I'll just ensure that there is a connection between the switch and my computer. On the switch I ping 10.10.10.11. I get a reply. If this ping does not work, make sure you connect it to your configured interface on the switch and the network cable is plugged in properly. And make sure you're not connected to the internet with a wireless interface or another physical connection. Start the TFTP server, click on yes, go into the settings of the TFTP server and make sure the option to bind the TFTP server to the IP address of your device is toggled. At the bottom of the dialog you can see the IP address. Choose the root directory for the TFTP server, just choose where you have downloaded the image file. In my case it is the downloads folder. Copy the full name of the switch image along with the file extension. If the file extension is not shown, you can click on View and on Show and on File Name Extension. Go to the switch and type copy tftp flash 10.10.10.11, paste in the file name and then choose the secondary image location by typing secondary. If you have another IP address assigned to your device, just type in this one instead. Just in case you're wondering how to read the first half of the command, read it as copy from tftp to flash. Hit enter. On the tftp server you can see the transfer being locked. The switch will validate the image to boot from the secondary image location Type boot system flash secondary. If the boot ROM is not up to date, it will also update it.
after the switch is started again, verify the installation with show flash. You can see the secondary image location contains the most up-to-date version of the image. To update the primary image location, you can type copy flash flash primary. You can read that as copy from currently loaded flash to flash location primary. Check with the show flash command and issue boot system flash primary to boot from the primary image location. It will now restart and it may again update the boot ROM version at the primary location. After the restart you can verify the update. To connect to the internet again, turn on your firewall and in the properties dialog of your PC's internet connection, choose obtain an IP address automatically. Now for some common errors. I'll pull out the ethernet cable. If you try to copy the file from the TFTP server, it will say peer unreachable. Solve this by checking if the cable is properly connected at both ends. You can also check the TFTP lock on the switch with show lock. TFTP. Let's pretend you're absolutely sure everything is correct and it still does not work. Go into config mode and type no DHCP config dash file dash update. If you issue the copy command again, it copies the file from the TFTP server. Sometimes the TFTP root directory is not properly set. To simulate this, I go to the TFTP server settings and change the root directory to something different. If I try to copy a file, it will say transport error. When the firewall is on, the switch is not able to reach the TFTP server. It will say that it exceeded 5 retransmits and the peer is unreachable. You can always verify the firewall state with the ping command. In general, make sure you connect directly through your computer's physical interface to the switch and not through an adapter or a docking station. This may result in the error peer unreachable.